In this video, we're going to see how to use a graphing calculator to sketch a logarithmic function. So there are a couple of options to do this depending on what type of calculator you have. So we'll start here with the first option, which works for TI-83 and TI-84 calculators. So let's say that we want to graph y equals log base 2 of x. So step one here is to press y equals on the calculator and we're going to use what we call the change of base identity. And so it has the relation here log of the argument divided by log of the base into y1. So in my equation here that I put in blue, y equals log base 2 of x, my argument is x and my base is 2. So when I'm putting that into my calculator, like it says here, I'll do log of x divided by log of 2 making sure to close that bracket, especially before you divide, to be able to graph this properly. And then we can press graph. Now you do have another option here. If you have a TI-84 calculator, you don't need to deal with the change of base identity. So I can go back to y equals, and I can select math, and I can go to option A and then I can push enter. And so here it actually prompts me for the log base, which here is two, and then I can push the right arrow to get to the argument, which here, which is X. And when I hit graph, as you can see, my red graph is going to overlap with my blue graph. And that just shows us that we have two different ways to graph the same function. But keep in mind, if you have a TI-83, you'll need to stick with option number one that change of base identity is quite handy. So you'll want to take the log of the argument and divide it by the log of the base. So once again here, we would take log of x and divide it by log of two. And 